beautiful kings and queens out there sorry hold on let me get this good lighting is really shit so today's video and today's talk is going to be about psychedelics and my experience recently with um magic mushrooms um and my, what my opinion is on using them how one should use them correctly I mean for the best experience if you want a spiritual experience if you want to use them just to have fun that's different but um, I use them for um, to reach the state of consciousness where I needed to to get answers and to um, understand <clears throat> that everything that I'm doing is correctly correct the correct so um yeah, I, uh, and I'll tell you the funny thing of how I obtained these mushrooms into my hands, free of charge, delivered right into my face. Um, <laughs> so I've been working with the gin a little bit, right? But they really like me and, um, <laughs> they really like, um, psychedelics for human for humans to use because I was able to see them um, so I'll tell you how I got the mushrooms which was a gift from Ajahi which is the queen and the consort of Aramon Ariamon Ariamon <laughs> um, So I did a ritual, inviting them in. Um, I wrote their sigil out. I listened to some beautiful music that they wanted me to play. I, they sent me to a playlist with, it was actually called Gin Music. So I was like, okay, all right. Um, then uh, they pushed me to go shopping. Okay, I was like, okay, I just have this urge to go shopping. So I ended up going to the mall and I ended up buying my mother a pair of beautiful crystal Swarovski crystal earrings. And then I saw this moon ring. It was like a little black moon ring with black Swarovski. So I can't even say that properly. Swarovski crystals. But anyways, it was a half a moon with this little um, diamond charm. And I like totally fell in love with it. I was like, yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I went home and um, I still had my sigil up of Azjahi and uh, I don't even know if I'm saying her name properly Azjahi yeah, as so I'm like 7 o'clock in the morning right now so she liked my ring oh when I was at the mall this Persian store I've never seen ever before all Persian stuff and I was like whoa so I was like okay I'm gonna buy some stuff for the gin I bought a little bottle of this saffron stuff I bought these oils these Persian oils and um, I bought the ring and I bought this incense that they use it's very sticky tacky stuff so that was all f for me to give to them okay because I always usually give the gods the spirits that I work with I'll go out and buy them something nice token of my appreciation um so i did that a couple hours later someone came that i know well and said hey i did some mushrooms last night but i got this left do you want it i was like yeah <laughs> so i had uh probably like half a gram to almost a gram of shrooms um i took a little stem just to see how my body would react to it because i haven't used drugs in a long time right so i'm like maybe, maybe i'll microdose um i fell asleep and i was like uh fuck it i'm taking the whole bag 
so I took the bag and I think within like 45 minutes I started to trip out um, and uh, I started to listen to the gin music and then boom that's when I'm seeing all these gin coming in morphing having fun with me they um, they really like playing with humanity this is I'm not an expert at gin but this is just how they were with me they like us being on that consciousness because they can come through um, she thanked me for the ring she wanted the ring <laughs> so I gave her the ring because I gave her the ring she gave me mushrooms um, which was an awesome gift plus uh, what else did she give me mushrooms um, there was something else that I was gifted with I just can't remember what it is right now so I had a whole night with the gods um, about four or five hours um, going in and out of um, I guess I don't know what the right word is because when I what I would do is I'd close my eyes I would allow my mind to take over and open up um, there were so many gin there's just so many of them and their eyes, a lot of their eyes looks like rubies and emeralds. And they do kind of look like these badass fucking genies. Like, it's fucking crazy. For, anyways, for my, my psyche. But they would morph. I called Azazel. He morphed in. He came in. I called every fucking god I could so I could see them morph. From their dark aspects into their light aspects. It was really, really cool. I saw some hideous things. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. I can handle it because I get excited when I see something. I saw, um, I saw this. I guess you could say he kind of looked like Baphomet. He came through. It was like a man and a goat. I can't, I don't want to say it was Lucifer Satan because I've never seen them that way. It was more like a Baphomet feeling. Um... Who else did I see? I saw the I saw the spider goddess. She came through. She was on this fucking crazy ass spider throne. Um, she pulled me through a fucking tunnel. I just had a lot of fun with them. Um, I got to go back home to a, a, the highest, a really high conscious consciousness for me, where I was able to remember who and what I am doing here. And um, apparently, I have a lot of creatures that I have created that are waiting for me to come back home. I have a lot of responsibility that I have to do or I'm doing it on other planes of existence. It's just I'm not remembering it here, but I'm a very busy spiritual being. Very. I have a lot of responsibility um, that um, that I have to do. I help a lot of I help a lot of entities and I create a lot of entities. <laughs> But yeah, so I think people shouldn't be afraid um, of this magical mushroom because I, I think everybody should do it at least once or twice a year. It just helps you understand and you get to see the veils are lifted and you can see things. Not only that, I started watching videos of other sorcerers. Um, their YouTube videos, and I got to see, I got to see spirits that are residing in them, that work with them. Um, they were morphing. Uh, it was pretty cool. I had a great experience. So, um, it's gonna be a quick video because I'm still really tired, but I know that I haven't made a video. But I'm making these little music videos. Not, I want you guys to understand when I make my my clips. Um, even the last one, the Legion one. I see a lot of people not watching them. I'm telling you, if you let's put your headphones on and really take in the energy, every time I make these videos, it's because there is a spirit or there is a God influencing me at that time to make this for you guys to hear the signature and, fre and frequency because there is um, power behind what I do. It's not because I want to be anything more than send these messages from the gods. Um, my last video, The Legion, that's something I'm just, I'm not ready to talk about, but they are with me and um, that was actually them speaking through me. That wasn't a, a voice effect. Um, 
I was in, um, I guess you could say a state of possession because I don't even really remember making that full clip that night until the next morning I listened to it. So he, they were inside of me when you heard that, when they say um, we are legion, that's actually the legion that the, 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 the spirits communicating through me, through that song. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of big things that are going to be um, happening this year with reality changing. But we need you guys to really focus on your spiritual evolution and um, look at the bigger picture of things. Stop looking just what you want. Look at what would you want for humanity. What do you want? What what would you want your children's children when they if they live here? How would you want that this existence to be for them? That's what you need to be working on. Doesn't matter about getting a big house. Doesn't matter about getting a car. That shit will come to you. I have I'm driving a Lexus right now. It's my car. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, I can't move at this moment because of COVID. But I got money in the bank stacking. I don't even think about it. I don't. Even, sometimes I don't even want it, and that's another trick. When I don't want something, it comes to me. It's like, mm, but then it comes. It's like a reversal trick. When you want something, you're like pushing at it, and that energy kind of gets turned off. You're like, uh, you're too needy. Even with money, money will be like, Ugh, you're too needy, and it builds a resistance. But if you don't want it, and you push it, it's like, why don't you want me? Why don't you want me? I want you. Why want you? Not come to you. That's when you take it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so mushrooms, yay, do them, get your hands on them, manifest them, and if the gods want you to do them, they will present them to you, um, enjoy it, it's a gift, everything in life is a gift, and if you understand that, you can enjoy life better, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to sleep, I'm exhausted, I've had a really, really, um, crazy month, my anointing lucifer's anointing the people on my facebook saw that i didn't want to post it out to the public on youtube just my close sisters and brothers and sisters and in our community got to witness my anointing um of someone very special um so yeah i have a lot of work i have to do still here but um the trick is not to have any fear there's no fear fear fuck fear you know fuck it it's not gonna do anything for you look it in its face and okay i'm gonna ramble about something else so that's it magic mushrooms fuck yeah um yeah infernal infernal love infernal blessings and um Enjoy, enjoy today, okay?